Hi, this is Ron Harika from Meteoron LLC. I'm going to just demonstrate highlight and share. The first thing you want to do is add the plugin. So just type in highlight and share into the keyword box. And then install now. And then activate it when it's done installing. And you'll find that the settings under settings highlight and share, or you can also view the settings on the plugins page. They both take you to the same place. Uh, now by default, I'll show you what's going to go on here when you activate the plugin. Let's go to a blog post. Uh, when I highlight some text, it'll just say tweet, share. And when I tweet it, it pops up in a new tab saying um, share this uh, text. Uh, what I'm going to do is, since I have a plugin called uh, Better Font Awesome, I'm going to enable um, icons only. And I also have Jetpack installed, so I'm going to enable short links down here. And you can add in your Twitter username. Um, enable Facebook sharing. You need to create a Facebook app ID uh, to highlight text and share it. To do that, just go to developers.facebook.com. Uh, click on My Apps and add a new app. And I'm going to call this one I Highlight and Share Ron Alfie. And create an app ID. And then verify that you're not a robot and submit it and then I'll give you an app ID up here that you can copy in. So I'm going to uh, enable LinkedIn sharing, skip Pinterest because um, I don't have any images. So enable copying and email sharing and then there's some advanced options if you have a custom page builder that needs some jQuery classes and then you can override these Font Awesome classes if you're using Font Awesome 5. So let's go ahead and do those changes here. See what it looks like. So we got icons only. And one of the powerful features is choosing the seam. Now choosing the seam may not be very intuitive in the back end, so you might want to do it in a customizer. And then you see a highlight and share over here. You can choose a default, what services need sharing. And let's say we're going to do a brand colors icons only seam. And that's what that looks like. And then if we do a black seam, uh, that's what that's going to look like. And let's go ahead and go with the black seam. So now when I uh, refresh this page, it'll show all the links in black and give me proper Twitter attribution. Um, my short links don't seem to be working right now, but I'll have to look into that in a bit. And then you can just tweet it out. Um, likewise, you can share it with Facebook. And then you can see the selected text in Facebook. Um, and those are just a few ways to use highlight and share. Um, another example I can give you is editing a post in Gutenberg. And you can see this is a, a classic blog. And what I can do is I can add in a click to share button or under common blocks, click to share. And then I can say, um, Um, click to share and then I can change the uh, the click to share text so um, I actually like the click to share text but I'll show you how to use it real quick click to share and the font weight I want a little bolder so let's see that and then I can change the uh, spacing of font settings so I could change the fonts to a uh, bigger font I uh, give it some padding, um, give it a border, and maybe round the border a little bit, and then change the border color. Let's do a kind of a light gray here.
Okay, got the border all set up. And then uh, here we have alignment width and margins. So we can make this thing as small as we want or as big as we want. Uh, if you do a max width to say 65, 55, sorry, you can align it left, you can align it right, you can give it uh, margins. And then you can also uh, go ahead and change the background color of this to let's say a dark red and then change the text color to white. And let's try to make it match my theme. I'm going to go with kind of a a grayish color here and if I update that post and view it you have a, a click to share button here so then if you click on Facebook for example it'll say is there another friend going away yes or no and that is a uh, highlight and share in a nutshell it allows you to highlight text uh, share to Facebook LinkedIn uh, Zing, WhatsApp, it allows you to copy to the clipboard, for example, if you need to do a Google search, um, stuff like that. So I appreciate you watching.